Good evening, everybody. I'm Beth Borrego, and I'd like to introduce Kathy Donnelly from uh, Carnival Cruise Lines. And we're here to talk to you this evening about the Mrs. Maisel Fan Cruise and Tour. Um, I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about the cruise and tour, and then it will be turned over to Kathy for a presentation for you all. We have some great information uh, for you tonight. I'd like to start off by telling you when this wonderful event is happening. It's going to happen from June 15th to 19th of 2023. This is wonderful. We have more than a year to plan and prepare for this, get excited and think about all the wonderful things we're going to be doing once we're on board. We're going to be sailing out of Manhattan, New York on the Carnival Magic and heading to Bermuda for a wonderful port day. We think Mrs. Maisel and all of our fans would love that because, of course, in Bermuda, the sand is pink. We are going to have a custom tour in New York City prior to the sailing, and we're going to be visiting the various sites in Manhattan that you see in the show. Of course, once we're on board, we're going to have fun and games and prizes and all kinds of entertainment designed for Maisel fans. Now, about the tour. The tour will take place before we actually board the ship. Okay, there's going to be a morning departure time for that tour, and we'll be announcing the location and the time soon. But we'll all board a motor coach. All of our luggage will be stowed beneath the bus while we're touring. Okay, we'll be able to get off and see the famous spots, take pictures. We're encouraging everybody to dress up in their favorite era attire if they want to, or just be casual since we'll be going to the port after that to, to board the magic. And uh, once we're done with the tour, the bus is taking us straight to the ship. Now, there are a few frequently asked questions that people ask when they're thinking about this cruise. I've gotten quite a few of them, so I thought I'd go over some of them here. Do I need a passport in order to cruise? The answer is yes. Why? Because we're going to Bermuda. And anytime you leave the U.S., if something happens to you when you're in another country, you'll have a very hard time getting back home if you don't. So there is that requirement. Please check your passports to make sure that they do not expire within six months of the, the date of embarkation. Do you need to be vaccinated in order to cruise? Anybody five years of age or older does need to be vaccinated in order to cruise. Is the alcohol package include, included in this fare? Sorry to say it, but it's not. But it's available and you can certainly purchase it for a low fee. Are there any extra costs besides my cruise fare? Well, there is in this case, this is a fan cruise. There is a $200 per person non-refundable entertainment fee that is going to go towards any entertainment we bring on board. And we're, we are you know, uh, talking to folks now about that and all of the other things that we're gonna be doing that have you know, other costs associated with them that we are incurring. Are airfare and hotel included in the price? No, they are not. We are happy to help secure you hotel and airfare. Just let us know if you need that service. Will any of the stars from the show be joining us for the sailing? As of this time, no, we are reaching out to them, but honestly, actors and actresses, their schedules book up sometimes several years in advance and we don't expect them to sail with us. When should I book my cabin? Now, booking is open, cabins are moving. And remember, we are not the only thing happening on this sailing. We don't have the entire ship. We have a nice chunk of cabins, but other people are booking in now too. It's a time you don't want to wait. You really, really need to book, okay? If I use another travel agent or book this myself, can I participate? Uh, 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 the answer is no. This is our group. And in order to participate with the Mrs. Maisel fan uh, cruise and tour, you need to book through us so that we can get you into all of the activities and get you onto that tour. Okay. What if I want a cabin that's not listed in your group? Can you get it for me? Absolutely. If you want a different cabin category than what we have listed, or if you want a suite or whatever it may be, we're happy to book that for you. And you'll still be inside the group and you'll get the amenities. So you really can't beat it. It's a win-win, no matter how you look at it. Now, I'm going to let Kathy talk about the different uh, cabins. Suffice to say that the ones that are within our group, we have balconies, interiors, and ocean views. Okay? And I'll let her take it from there. And um, without any further ado, I give you Kathy Donnelly from Carnival Cruise. Well, 
Hello, everyone, and welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. I left my camera on so you can see me for a few minutes, but I'm going to run a, a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to turn my video on and take my power just so it runs a lot smoother. So let me do that. And now let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Oops, let's go here. All righty. So welcome to you all. Welcome all you fabulous um, Miss Mazo fans. It's a pleasure to be here this evening um, and talking all fun things, and especially going on a carnival ship, the Carnival Magic. As Beth mentioned, it is a four-day sailing from New York City starting on June the 15th of 2023. So tonight I'm going to talk all about what to expect for your cruise portion. Now, with Carnival, I'm not sure if many of you have been on Carnival or have sailed before, but in Carnival, we always believe that fun is a choice. And the funny thing we say is 99% of the time, those that choose fun regret it 0% of the time. So we want you to go and make this a very memorable vacation because, um, you know, you can go away one day, two a days, but you always want to go away and have a good time. And we anticipate to go ahead and make this a memorable vacation for you. Now, Beth, we've all met Beth, and, and we didn't meet Rod, but Rod as well. They're your travel agents, or we call them the matchmakers, because they know what would fit. And they've designed this great package for you. So you have the pre-tour before, and then you're going to go on this cruise. And they think it's a perfect combination for those of you that are looking for fun and really get together same kind of likeness as you're all huge fans of Miss Maisel. So this is the perfect opportunity. So let's show you what to experience. Now, when somebody says, well, I don't know about Carnival. I've heard some things. So who goes on a Carnival cruise? So there's two different groups that we usually say. First is the relaxed extroverts. So there's people that like to be the life of the party, always want to be around, having a good time and, and just really enjoying life. Then there's some that we call the introverts who they might not be one, the ones that start the life of the party, but they like to be around. They like to see people laughing and having a good time. It just makes them feel warm and fuzzy. The second would be our kid pleasers. We are known to have a lot of families travel with us. And for most uh, parents and families, you know, if the kids are happy and having a good time, you're definitely going to have a great vacation as well. So these are two types of people. But with Carnival, there's something for everyone, regardless if you're a toddler all the way to a grandparent. There's stuff for everyone. We have over 90 activities each day. And don't forget, you're going to have some special activities arranged just for your group as well. So you'll have no time to waste. You'll be off to a great start. Now, many of you know, we've been we've all been living under this epic pandemic that keeps going on and on and on. But one good thing I can tell you is that cruising is back and we are so excited to be back in the waters. Um, but with that being said, we do have a lot of protocols that are still in place. Now, we're not sure where we're going to be next year, but we're going to follow all the protocols that are in place right now, meaning all guests must be vaccinated in order to cruise with Carnival. If you have kids from the ages of five through 12, they must be vaccinated in order to sail. So I just want to start off by saying that. So if you're unvaccinated, unfortunately, right now, you would not be able to book. You must be vaccinated in order to sail with us. Now, let's get into some fun stuff. Let's talk about this big, beautiful ship, the Carnival Magic. It will be sailing right there from the West Side Highway out of New York City. And it's a spectacular view when you sail out. You go past the Statue of Liberty. So if you haven't done something like this, you really need to uh, be out on the decks or out on the balcony and really getting some great pictures because it's a wonderful experience. Now, what is there to do on board this ship? Some of you might be thinking, well, we've got a lot for you to do. Let's kick off with there's a huge water park on board. And no, it's not just for the kids. It's fun for everyone of all ages. We've got some fun slides. We've got the splash park. We've got a resort style pool for you where there's plenty of games and activities. But we also have for those that want to sit back, maybe this is a time for you just to relax, recharge your batteries. We have an area dedicated for you as well. So we're first looking at the Carnival Waterworks area. 
And then we also have, for those that like to stay busy and, and keep busy during the day and you just can't sit still, uh, we have a great area called the um, Sports Square. And in the Sports Square, you're going to find miniature golf, you're going to find ping pong, you're going to find foosball, you're going to find uh, an obstacle course where we actually harness you into this obstacle course, as you see, and you can walk all the way around this obstacle course. And it's, a, it's like I said, it's fun for all ages. If this is not the adventure you're looking for, no worries. There's plenty others to do. But I just wanted to show you some of the outdoor activities. How about just sitting back and lounging by the pool? You can sit there and lounge. You see there's a big screen there. And what they'll show is they'll have concerts. They'll have different movies at night. So it's movies under the stars. Or if you just like to sit back and read a book and just kind of relax and, and breathe in that fresh air, that's something you can do as well. So I'm just going to give you a couple of the shots. This is one of the pools on board where you can relax and unwind. And of course, the pool is in the middle. And then we have, like I said, for those of you that want more of a quiet, relaxing area, we have the serenity area for all adults 21 and over. This is an area where there's plush chairs. You see there's pillows, there's blank, there's little blankets, there's carnival towels. We have bar service up there. Um, we have um, showers in different areas. We have the pool, the jacuzzi. So if you want to be away from the kids that are on board, feel no, feel free. There's an area just dedicated for you. There's the sun chasers, so you can lay under there. Maybe the sun gets too much, you put the umbrella up. And it's really nice just to sit back, relax, maybe enjoy the company you're with. I'm sure you're going to meet some great new fans and new friends, and you'll all be lifelong friends at the end of this. And you want to get to know one another. So there's plenty of places for you to do that as well. How about these hammocks? Does that not look so relaxing and enjoyable? Um, and then when you first step on board, you're going to see the main grand atrium. This is the place when you first walk in, you'll see light music will be playing. Someone will be playing some Caribbean beat music just to get the vibe going. You see all of the areas of the ship. Now, if you want to uh, try it in the, the casino, we have a very large casino on board. We have blackjack tables. We have roulette. We have uh, five card stud. We have slot machines. What, you, what you're looking for, we have in a casino. So this is like a floating resort. Now, this right here is the upper magical way. This is a main uh, promenade or walkway that gets you to some of the bars, lounges, and activities such as the casino. So in the evening, after you enjoy the day at the pool, you can come on down. And let's take a look at some of the pubs in the areas that you can go to. This to me is my favorite and I call it the three door space or three area space, excuse me. So this right here is, remember that a few seconds ago, I showed you that nice walkway. This is the outside of the pub in indoor area. So if you wanna be indoors with a nice air conditioner and meet up with friends and have, have some cocktails and, have, and chat with people, you can, you can go right there. Or you can go indoors and you can enjoy the pub atmosphere in there, foosball and different activities that they have in there. But if you want to experience the outdoor and you love just being out and you love the sun and, and, and the, the environment, there's an outdoor area to this uh, Red Frog Pub as well. There's swinging little uh, cabana chairs. You can sit there, relax, and, and just to get to know your fellow friends or the person you're traveling with. You know, during the week, it might be hustle and bustle with work schedules and kids schedules, and you're just looking to relax and recharge. This is a perfect place to go. Now, let's talk a little bit about the food. So this is Guy's Pig and Anchor. Now, for those of you that watch like the Food Channel, Guy Fieri, I'm sure everyone knows him. He has two restaurants on board. Now, the day that you embark in New York, as well as the sea days, this area is going to be open and it's part of your cruise experience. So there's no additional charge. It is a full menu with sausage and pulled pork, pulled chicken, ribs, and all the side fixings that you're looking for, mac and cheese, corn cornbread, uh, baked beans. You can come here, get as much as you like and enjoy Guy Fieri's uh, Pig and Anchor. Now he also has Guy's Burger on board. It's five different burgers. Once again, complimentary, part of your cruise experience. And then we have some other areas. Now that we've got, you know, some of the food, we want to show you some of the nightlife because we saw the daytime. So let's talk about the nightlife. The Play It Again Piano Bar. If you like the karaoke and the sing-along bars, this is the perfect spot for you in the evening. 
If you are a sweet tooth lover, we do have something on board called Cherry on Top. Cherry on Top is our signature candy store that we have on board. So whether you want to bring something back and have some little nibbles of candy during your cruise, or maybe you left the kids at home or friends at home, and you know they would enjoy some of the sweet treats from on board, there are different packaging and different things that you can bring a little souvenir home, and you can go in here and purchase. It's a fun place to go, lots of fun treats. Um, and if you've been on Carnival before, you know we're famous for the funnel. Everyone calls it the big fin, the red, white, and blue fin. But we have little gummies like that, so it's a fun place to go in and shop. And then let's get back to Cucina de Capitana. Now, this is another area of food that you can go to. During the day, uh, sea days and embarkation day, you can go up here and you can actually, it's a free pasta bar. So you'll go in and they'll give you a choices. What kind of pasta do you like? What kind of sauces? Do you want to add any meats like sausage or chicken or um, vegetables? And they'll put it all together for you in a bowl and then you'll, they'll, be, they'll serve it to you. Now that is complimentary. It's free of charge. But in the evening, this turns into our family style Italian restaurant. In the evening, there would be a charge, and it's a little bit different. It's a sit down. They put the red and white checkerboard tables, and it's where you sit amongst friends and family, and everyone will get a choice of an, um, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. As I said, it's family style, so large portions. You will not go home hungry, and I believe the charge right now is about $15 additional per person. So this is something that you can do. I tell you, this is one of the best meals I've ever had. Um, little secret here, all of our captains on board, all of our ships are Italian. So all of the recipes for all of these great choices from appetizers to entrees to desserts come from our captains, their moms, all their moms famous recipes. So there's a little history that goes to that. Then after you have your nice meal, you can go off to the F lounge where we have a nighttime comedy club there. Now we do several shows. The first couple of them are family friendly, meaning that's for the entire family. There's no foul language and it's just fun entertainment. Then after hours around 1130 to midnight, we'll do the same comedians, but it's called the adult hour. And that's where the foul language might come in there. So if you're highly offended, you don't like to hear bad words and that's not the show for you. Go to the earlier shows, but we provide two different types of comedy shows for you. And that is included once again in the price of the cruise. So there's no additional charges to uh, partake in the nightly comedy clubs. And each night is a different comedy show. We have uh, generally two to three, two to four comedians that will come on and entertain you during your cruise. Now, Prime Steakhouse is another area that you can go to. This would be a specialty restaurant again. If you're celebrating a birthday, an anniversary, you're away with the girlfriends, you know, just something nice and you're looking for a really nice steakhouse, I'm telling you, hands down, you will not find this anywhere you go. It's a one-time fee when you go. It's $38 per person. Now, everything comes out a la carte, but it's the one fee of $38. You're going to get an, on, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Huge portions. You can't even finish it. They'll bring the, the, um, the, the cart over to you. You can choose from steaks to lobster to surf and turf to seafood to chicken to veal to lamb chops. I mean, it's a variety of things that you can choose from. You will select which um, uh, main entree you want and everything is cooked to order. So it takes about three, three and a half hours, but it's a very relaxed and nice uh, uh, dining experience and everything is cooked to order. So it comes out nice and hot and it's a beautiful um, a venue to go to. So if you're coming on board, you might want it to take part in the Prime Steakhouse. And then for those who just want to sit back, ah, maybe get a, a nice massage, relax, put your hair up, you know, go fancy one night. We have a beauty parlor as well as Cloud9 Spa that you can make reservations for. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this in, in a few minutes. Now, you can come into our full gym. It's fully part of your cruise experience. And there'll be trainers in there that will kind of point you in the or show you how to use all the machines if you want to do that. But if you want to get a massage, maybe a couple's massage, you can do that. But there will be a, a, a nominal charge for that. And you can see all the pricing on that and you can book before you go. So you can kind of plan your, your trip or you can book when you get on board. 
special little secret on the very first day on embarkation day, if you go up to the cloud nine spa, they do a lot of treatments and they do a lot of demonstrations. And if you like to volunteer and you don't mind doing it in front of everyone, sometimes you will be, you'll get your treatment for free. Maybe it's a facial, uh, you know, different kind of massages, deep tissue, and they, you know, they'll show everyone how it is to try to get entice you to book one spa treatment over another. But if you don't mind, hey, you can get your spa treatment complimentary. And here is the thermal suites. This is where you come and kind of relax after a nice cool down, uh, get some fresh water and just kind of just relax with beautiful panorama views and windows of the ocean. So you get, it feels very relaxing and very peaceful, very quiet. But now that we've talked about the ship, let's talk about this fabulous port that you're going to go to. So I'll just review, you would embark on Thursday. Um, you would depart New York City around 4 p.m. And after you depart, Friday, you'll be at sea all day. So remember, lots of activities for you to do. Maybe enjoy the spa. And like I and like Beth mentioned, she's gonna have some pretty, she's gonna have some pretty fun activities for you to partake as well. Um, day three, which is uh, Saturday, you will arrive in Bermuda. You'll be there from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And in Bermuda, there is plenty to do. So a couple of things you need to know about Bermuda. Uh, you can explore the island all in one day, which is great because that's all you'll be there is one day. Bermuda is considered a golfer's paradise. Beautiful golf courses all around. Beautiful beaches, beautiful golf courses. Um, you're, you're always, you're never uh, a mile away from the ocean. So everything is really compact in Bermuda. What I prefer and I like to do when I've gone there before, if you've never been there, I recommend you book with Carnival but you do one of the historical tours. Generally, it's about an hour and they pick you up from the ship and you kind of go around, but get a feel for the island. They've got some beautiful churches. They've got some beautiful homes and they're all painted in different colors. And they'll explain to you what each of the colors represent. But it's a great way to really explore the island, see the entire island, see some of the beaches. And then later that, you know, after that morning, you can go off to one of the beaches or you can go snorkeling or scuba diving. We've got some fantastic tours that you can do for snorkeling or scuba diving. Now it's what we said, pink sands, but there's some beautiful turquoise water. So this is a day you really wanna get ready to go from the morning to the evening. One of the tips that I give everyone is if you have been to the Caribbean islands, you know they're fun, usually very inexpensive. Now Bermuda is one of these islands where it can be a little more expensive than what some are used to. So this is what I recommend. You get up in the morning, you, may, you get yourself a nice big breakfast. So you're kind of full, you can go off, maybe do the historical tour. You can come back to the ship, you can grab some lunch if you want. And then off you go to maybe to the beach for snorkeling, scuba diving, or just a day at the beach. And then when you come back on, you know, you'll have dinner on board. You know, if you want, there's beautiful Hamilton, downtown Hamilton. You can go beautiful shops and restaurants. You can partake in that. I'm just kind of giving you, I just want to set expectations because some people come back. It's the first thing saying, you know how expensive this was? And I'll give you an idea. Three girlfriends, we were all sailing with Carnival. We got there. We went to Hamilton. We had lunch. And I think we had three burgers and I think three sodas. And I think the bill was over $110. So it is a little bit more pricey than, than the average, you know, day going out. So, but I don't want you to miss it. Hamilton is a fabulous place with lots of great shops. Uh, maybe stop off and get a cocktail. Enjoy the day there, but really take in the island because like I said, it's not a big island, but there's lots and lots to do there. And then here is the thing that I said I was going to explain to everyone. How do you book some of these things? Carnival has something called the Fun Hub. Now, this is the uh, the hub is a is an app on anyone's um, app application. So if you have an Apple phone or a Samsung, you go into your app store and you download for free the Carnival Hub, H-U-B. And what will happen is a free download. You'll put it on your phone and it's going to you put your booking number. Once you make a booking, you'll put your booking number in there and it's going to give you a countdown to the sailing. So it'll say a countdown to the Carnival Magic. And it'll tell you 47 days, three hours, and 15 minutes. And each day that will change. And it's really to get you excited about your cruise experience. 
The other nice thing is now with the pandemic, we've been able to send messages to you, push out alerts. So if anything has changed, any new new requirements or anything, that will get pushed out. So you continuously stay up to date and you're aware of all the new announcements. Um, once you get there, it kind of tells you the weather, it says my planner. And once you get on board, it will tell you, put this in airplane mode, and then you are connected to the Carnival Wi-Fi. Now, all that's going to do is going to connect you to our little app that's going to give you daily activities. So if you want to know what's happening on board right now, it'll list all the activities. And if you click on one, it kind of navigates and it'll tell you how to get there so you can partake. If you're saying, you know, hmm, what's available to eat now? I'm kind of hungry. It'll give you all the options in different places for you to eat. If you want to know what's later for dinner, you can go into the menus. It'll tell you what menus are available. If you want to pre-purchase a shore excursion, it'll give you a list of the shore excursions and tell you what the price is. And I'll tell you a little about it to see if you're interested. You can go right on your phone, click it, and it'll ask you for your credit card information, and it'll pre-save your tour. And you'll see that on the app. So it'll tell you the day in Bermuda, these are your tours that you have, a, that you have scheduled. Now, if there was a day where there might be some bad weather or something like that, there is an option that we would go ahead and refund that so you don't have to worry about that. Let's say the spa. I showed you the beautiful spa that we have on board. If you wanted to look at some of the spa treatments, you go to the spa. It'll show you all the treatments and the cost. And then, like I said, you can pre-purchase that. It'll ask you for the day, the time, and you can kind of pre-arrange that. So when you're on board, everything is set. It will send you a friendly reminder saying you have a spa treatment in about 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So we'll, it will do that as well. If you kind of go through, it'll give you every day's activity from morning to noon to night. Now, remember, I said there's 90 activities that are going on. And the, the reason for that is because maybe my idea of fun might not be your idea of fun. So we like to do multiple activities at one time because something's going to catch your, catch your attention and something's going to say, you know what, that's something I want to do. And then don't forget, you're going to have some fabulous activities that are being planned right now by Beth and Rod as well. So you kind of want to arrange it around that and you can do that and enjoy the cruise. Some of the other features we have now is let's say you're sitting by the pool and you say, you know what, that pizza really sounds good and smells good. Let me go ahead and order it. You can go on your app now and you can order a pizza and through our satellite, we'll know exactly where you're at and we will come and deliver the pizza to you. Now, there are drink services. You can do it that way as well. If there is a charge for any of the deliveries, they will tell you in advance so that you can either decline it or you can say, I accept and, and, and get the charge. It could be a small nominal charge of $2 to, $2 to $5, nothing usually over that. And they'll come and they'll deliver that to you. If you know, so it's, it's great. They come right to your chair. You don't even have to get up. You can sit back, relax and, and enjoy that. So all of that is on the Carnival Hub. So make sure if you're booking your cruise, Write that down, Carnival H-U-B, because you do want to go in and, and put that on your phone. I suggest that you do this prior to the cruise because it's a little bit faster when you're home than once you get on board because everyone will be trying to download and it can go a little bit slower. The other thing that you could do is um, you can find pictures on there and, and different things like that. So now let me tell you what we got planned because Beth and Rod are putting together this fabulous trip for all of you. We want to give you an extra little perk. If you make a booking for the next week, we will offer, we have something called the early saver. Now Beth's got some fantastic rates booked and with her trip. So she'll have all the pricing for you, but for the cruise portion, it's generally $150 per person deposit. But because we're giving you this special offer, you will get a reduced deposit of $150 will hold a cabin for two people. With that being said, I do want to tell you, though, it's considered what we call an early saver promotion. And what that means is that once you deposit, that deposit is locked in. It's a non-refundable deposit. So once you know you want to go and you're locked in and say, I'm going with this group, you can do this. Or we have our group, you know, rates that can be a little flexible, but this one would be a non-refundable deposit. You will also get an additional $25 onboard credit 
just for participating with this group um, and being uh, listening to this recording. And that $25 onboard credit will go right to your stateroom. You can use it towards the shops on board and the casino, um, towards drinks, whatever you would like. It would be $25 for you booking with the next week. Now, the booking window was March 23rd through next Wednesday, March 30th. So make sure if you're thinking this sounds like a trip, I don't want to miss out. And I don't think you want to miss out. You want to call Beth and you want to make sure that you get your reservations booked now. Um, and that is it for me. And I am so looking forward to seeing all these fabulous pictures from your group because I know some of the activities that are being planned and I will tell you, all you fans of The Marvelous Miss Maisie, I think you are going to have one great time from what there's planned before the cruise until after the cruise. So I hope to see you and all of the fan clubs on The Miss Maisie. I hope to see you all on Facebook sharing your great experiences on Carnival. And Carnival can't wait to welcome you all on board the Carnival Magic. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Kathy. Um, I just want to say that that was a wonderful presentation and um, you, you hit it out of the ballpark. One of the things that I didn't touch on before are the prizes. And I have got a stack of amazing prizes that we are going to be um, giving away. People will win them. Um, the piece de resistance, I'm waiting for it to arrive. It's going to take a couple of months. And it is a copy of one of the scripts for one of the episodes. And that particular script is autographed by the cast and framed. It's fabulous. It's worth several hundred dollars. And uh, all I can say is Amazon brings me all sorts of yes. things all the time. And they are sitting on my dining room table. So you guys need to get booked because you're not going to win these prizes unless you sail with us. Um, Again, Kathy, thank you very, very much for your time today. It is okay. deeply appreciated. And uh, to all of you fans out there, um, reach out, call us, 240-876-0692, uh, or toll free at 855-4-CRUISING. Thanks very much, everybody.